Hi, my name's Mary McIntyre and I'm an amateur astronomer and astrophotographer originally from Lancashire but now living in North Oxfordshire. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my journey with astronomy. I loved astronomy since I was a very small child and I loved looking at star maps and we had a set of encyclopedias that had some artist impressions of what other worlds would look like and that was me completely captivated. Um, I also fell in love with a ladybird book that talked about the mythology of the constellations and even today when I look at some of the constellations in my mind I'm visualising the artwork that went along with those constellations. Um, I got my first telescope when I was 11 but I really didn't know how to use it. I managed to look at the moon and I managed to project and look at some stuff with the sun but that was pretty much all I did and I never really had a mentor or anybody to help me with the astronomy. So it kind of stayed on the back burner as a hobby and whenever there was any big astronomical event going on I would try and look at things and kept a kind of passing interest with what was going on. So astronomy was pretty much on the back burner and I knew that I wanted to work in science. I'd always loved science ever, been, ever since starting high school so I went off and got a job after I did my science A levels as a lab technician in a big research lab in London and I'm really glad that I did this because I managed to do my degree day release by following a two year um, HNC course in applied biology followed by a two year degree conversion so I was in university one day a week but working full time in a scientific environment and I learned so much more by studying that way um, astronomy was always kind of there and I was keeping an eye on what was going on in the world of astronomy but my career was in science now and, and I was very much into biology and working on different areas in, in biology. Once I'd been working in the research lab for a while I fancied a change and I went off and worked in scientific equipment sales. Unfortunately a spinal injury and several failed surgeries put an end to my career. But some good really came out of that because when you're working full time you really can't stay up late and do astronomy so it makes it really difficult to kind of get out there and do the observing especially when we don't get that many clear nights in the UK. But suddenly I had more time on my hands and although I had a lot of mobility issues I still had a small telescope and I was able to get out and actually look at the stars and do things. Then in 2011 I had the opportunity to study the astronomy GCSE and that was me completely hooked again on astronomy. It reignited my passion. Um, I got an A star in that. I got 98.5% as a total score in that. I was really proud. But I wanted to build on that knowledge. And I, once I moved um, from Lancashire to Oxfordshire, I was studying with the Open University. And I did the astronomy um, qualification they do there, the Certificate in Astronomy and Planetary Science. And again, just building on all this knowledge that I'd wanted to know ever since I was a child. So I really enjoyed studying those things. Now that I've got more mobility again, I'm really fortunate that I'm able to go out and do talks on astronomy. Um, I do a lot of photography talks and workshops and I get to go into schools and do lots of outreach events. So astronomy has now become work for me, although part time. And I really love that. I love all the thought that goes into preparing talks and just the fact that when I do a talk, you'll get an email a few days later where somebody's gone out and taken a picture because of it or it's inspired somebody to try something else. And I really love paying that forward, that passion for astronomy. I think that digital photography has been the biggest revolution in astronomy since the invention of the telescope. Um, I'm going to show you some photographs in a second of some of the things that I've taken myself um, from the garden and also processing with the robotic stuff. But also astronomy sketching, which is something I'm really passionate about, because sketching means that you actually look at that object where when you get engrossed with photography, it's all about capturing the photons. And I realised I'd gone nine months without ever looking through an eyepiece. And that's really bad. We do astronomy because we love these objects and are fascinated by them. So I also sketch, sometimes at the eyepiece and also sometimes working from photographs um, taken by my friends or my own pictures or taken with the robotic telescopes. Um, so I'll show you some of those pictures as well. Um, they are really fun to do and they really make you study something in so much more detail than you would do if you're just taking a quick photograph of it. So here I am in our observatory shed which my husband built for us a few years ago. It's an adapted shed which has a roll-off roof so it's really quick and easy to set up our telescopes and do some imaging on a clear night. 
This is our second telescope here and this means that both my husband and I can image on the same night if we want to do different objects but it also means one of us can image with two different telescopes. Each telescope is better for different objects so it means that we've got a lot of flexibility with the kinds of things that we want to image and make the most of every clear night that we have. You can see the weather station in the corner there as well which helps us for monitoring weather changes and figure out whether we're going to get some clear nights coming up. This is our 10 inch Dobsonian telescope. It's in its own little shed because it's really big and heavy and you can't use it from inside an observatory shed. It's on a wheeled base so that helps us to move it around the garden when we need to. I love the moon. Um, I just think you get a real sense of a rocky body orbiting around another body and although the moon is a source of light pollution for deep sky photography I've always been really fascinated by the moon and never get bored of photographing it. Um, the next pictures are some deep sky ones. Um, this is the Orion Sword area, so the Great Orion Nebula taken with a refractor. And the next picture is one where you zoom in a little bit a bit closer on the Orion Nebula region itself. Absolutely gorgeous. Another favourite in the winter. Uh, the Pleiades is my all time favourite object um, in the night sky. I just love it. The next three pictures were taken with a two meter robotic telescope, the Forks telescope, but I downloaded and stacked and processed the data myself. And um, this was a really good experience learning how to bring together three different channels, which is something I hadn't really done before. And um, the Crab Nebula, which is Messier 1. This is an object that's very difficult to do yourself with a small scope. I love star trails photography and that's one of the things that you know, I'm very well known for. Um, I love wide field stuff. Um, this is one of my lunar sketches. The next three, or three or four pictures are of some lunar sketches. I love drawing on black paper with um, pastel pencils, um, charcoal pencils, and just blending and looking at those really harsh shadows that you can get at the right phase of the moon within craters and looking at the way the shadows fall on the crater floor. Absolutely stunning and I'll never get bored of drawing. When I was growing up I had a lot of different varied interests and never once in my childhood or in my teens did I hear the words you can't do that because you're a girl. I'm really fortunate that my parents were supportive of absolutely everything that I wanted to do whether it be studying or hobbies. So yes I was into the sort of typical girly things. I was a dancer, I liked hair and makeup, but I also loved playing with cars and learning about motor vehicle maintenance and just doing general tomboy kind of things. And I had a lot of positive female role models in my life when I was growing up as well. It was only when I got older that I realised not everybody had that experience and there's still an awful lot of prejudice today. I run the UK Women in Astronomy Network and the people that I come across that have heard over and over again that astronomy is a boys subject and girls shouldn't do it or physics is just for boys, why are girls studying it? And that makes me really angry but also really sad. Gender should not play any role in what you decide to do as a career. If you have a passion for a subject, study it, make it your life, make it your career. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it for any reason, to be honest, not just about sex, but just in any reason at all. I was in a wheelchair for 10 years. It didn't stop me doing astrophotography. I still went to star parties. I still got out there with my telescope. You can do things that you want to do if you're really passionate about it. And I feel really strongly that girls should be given all the same opportunities that boys are doing in school. And if you love maths and physics and science and astronomy, follow your heart and do that. If I was 19 now, I, I've always loved astronomy. I now have a real love for cell biology. I would for sure now be pursuing a career in astrobiology because I'm confident that within my lifetime we're going to find microbial life somewhere else in our solar system and perhaps even beyond with exoplanet research which is a huge area that's growing. There are so many areas of astronomy that are really exciting places to be and I know that if I was 19 now that's the career path I would choose. I'm still reading a lot about it, I still do a lot of stuff with my microscopes it's just something that I'm really passionate about and if you have that passion just take it forward and don't let anybody dictate to you what you can and can't do. If you want to know more about the UK Women in Astronomy Network head over to Ukwian on Twitter or Facebook. We also have a Flickr group which features photographs by female astrophotographers. 
If you want to know more about me personally, you can have a, head over to my website, marymcintyreastronomy.co.uk. Um, I have lots of social media um, handles there. You can have a look at my photography and stuff. Thank you so much for watching the video and good luck with your astronomy endeavours.